Imagine a night sky ablaze with shimmering light, so bright it rivals the midday sun. This wasn't just any aurora borealis, this was the Carrington event of 1859, a cosmic spectacle that illuminated the night sky with auroras visible even near the equator. It was a sight of breathtaking beauty, but behind the dazzling display lurked a powerful force of nature, a geomagnetic storm unleashed by the sun. The year was 1859. The world was a much different place, lit by gas lamps and connected by a relatively new invention, the telegraph. Little did people know that the star at the heart of our solar system was about to give them a startling lesson in the interconnectedness of Earth and space. On September 1st and 2nd, 1859, the Sun erupted with a series of powerful solar flares, hurling a wave of charged particles towards Earth at incredible speeds. This wasn't just any solar storm. It was the most intense geomagnetic storm ever recorded, and it would leave its mark on history. What followed was a celestial spectacle that captivated and terrified in equal measure. Auroras danced across the heavens, their ethereal glow bright enough to read by. But beneath this mesmerizing display, the invisible forces of the solar storm were wreaking havoc on the fledgling electrical systems of the time. The telegraph, a technological marvel of its age, bore the brunt of the Carrington event's fury. Telegraph wires, strung across continents, became unintended antennas, channeling the sun's energy into powerful electrical surges. Sparks flew from telegraph equipment, shocking operators and setting some telegraph offices ablaze. Across Europe and North America, telegraph systems were thrown into chaos. Messages were garbled, transmissions impossible. The world, so recently connected by this new technology, found itself partially cut off, its communication systems crippled by a force beyond its control. The Carrington event was a stark reminder of humanity's vulnerability to the whims of the cosmos. In an age when electricity was still a novelty, the storm highlighted the profound interconnectedness of our technological systems with the sun's unpredictable behavior. It was a wake-up call, a glimpse of the potential chaos a powerful geomagnetic storm could unleash. But in 1859, the world was far less reliant on electricity than it is today. Imagine the consequences if a similar event were to occur in our modern technology-dependent world. Fast forward to 2025. We live in a world unimaginable in 1859. Electricity is not a novelty, it's the lifeblood of our civilization. Our smartphones, computers, satellites, power grids, all rely on a delicate balance of electrical currents and electromagnetic fields. A Carrington-level event today would be far more than a technological inconvenience. It would be a global catastrophe. Imagine a world without GPS, internet, or even electricity for extended periods. Financial transactions could grind to a halt, communication networks could collapse, and essential services like hospitals could face crippling disruptions. The potential economic and societal impacts are staggering. A 2017 study by the National Academy of Sciences estimated that a Carrington-scale solar storm could cause trillions of dollars in damage to the United States alone, dwarfing the cost of even the most devastating natural disasters. Section 4. The Sun awakens Solar Cycle 25. The Sun, like many stars, goes through cycles of activity marked by the ebb and flow of sunspots and solar flares. These cycles, lasting roughly 11 years, are driven by the Sun's internal magnetic dynamo. We are currently in Solar Cycle 25, which began in December 2019. While Solar Cycle 25 was initially predicted to be relatively quiet, Recent observations suggest it may be more active than expected. The sun has been exhibiting an increasing number of sunspots and solar flares, raising concerns about the possibility of a major solar storm in the coming years. While the likelihood of a Carrington-level event in 2025 remains relatively low, it is not impossible. The sun is a complex and dynamic object, and its behavior, while generally predictable, can still surprise us. Section 5. Predicting the sun's fury. Fortunately, we are not defenseless against the sun's outbursts. Scientists have made significant strides in understanding and predicting space weather thanks to a fleet of spacecraft that constantly monitor the sun's activity. These space weather sentinels provide us with early warnings of solar storms, giving us crucial time to prepare. However, our forecasting abilities are not perfect. 
predicting the exact path and intensity of a solar storm is still a challenge, much like predicting the precise track and strength of a hurricane. Despite these limitations, our ability to observe and understand the Sun is constantly improving. New telescopes, both on the ground and in space, are providing us with unprecedented views of our star, allowing scientists to study its behaviour in greater detail than ever before. Section 6. A modern Carrington event lights out. What if a Carrington-level event were to occur today? The consequences would be far-reaching, impacting nearly every aspect of our technology-dependent lives. Satellites could be damaged or destroyed, disrupting GPS navigation, communication networks and weather forecasting. Power grids could experience widespread outages, plunging cities into darkness and disrupting essential services. Air travel could be severely impacted as solar storms can interfere with radio communications and navigation systems. Even our financial systems, heavily reliant on satellite communication and synchronized timing, could experience disruptions. The good news is that we're not starting from scratch. Governments and organizations around the world are taking steps to mitigate the risks posed by solar storms. Power grid operators are implementing safeguards to protect against solar-induced surges and satellite manufacturers are designing more resilient spacecraft.